You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we're going to have a lot going forward involving Bill Belichick, and we've had a lot for a while now involving Bill Belichick. But of course, the other day, Tommy Kernan dropped that sort of bombshell out there. I believe, I don't know if it was on Quick Slants or if it was on a different show, but. I made a video, played the clip, and Tommy Kernan came out with this where evidently Robert Kraft and or Jonathan Kraft had made a decision about Bill Belichick's future after that really horrible loss in a game that meant a lot to the Kraft family, that Germany loss to the Colts. And it was an awful loss. It looked terrible. It was a game that there were, people forget this. There was that was a game that leading up to the game, a lot of people were speculating that Bill Belichick might get fired after that game if they were to lose during the season. Well, of course he didn't get fired. Now I think we all know why he has not gotten let go. It's because of what he has done for the Patriots, what he has meant for that franchise, and Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft is trying to avoid a Jimmy Johnson, Jerry Jones situation. Jerry Jones is just now putting Jimmy Johnson in the in the Cowboys ring of honor. That's awful. I mean, that's the I mean, that's unacceptable. He should have been in there, you know, 20 years ago. All right, for what Jimmy Johnson meant to that franchise, but there was a falling out between the two. And he he just announced it. Maybe it was just three or four, five weeks ago. During a, it may have been Thanksgiving weekend. In fact, uh, I. But nonetheless, they didn't want a fracture there. All right, a Brett Favre Packers fracture. We know what I'm talking about. So um, we've got that that came out. Now Tommy Kernan has has since come out and said, "Look, if they win out." I mean, do they reserve the right to change their mind? Of course, all right? It doesn't necessarily render Tommy Kernan's uh, uh, report invalid. It just means the Crafts, as owners, reserve the right to change their mind, and they do. Now, what's being lost in all this is a lot of people believe that because Belichick's got another year left on his contract, that they could just trade him somewhere, okay? Uh, the issue with that, and Mike Florio brings it up in this article that we're going to look at, is that Bill Belichick doesn't, technically speaking, have to go along with any of this. He could throw a monkey in the wrench or a monkey wrench in the whole thing. All right? He's under contract, and he could force Bella, uh, uh, the Crafts into a situation where they got to fire him. All right, hence becoming an actual free agent. Because he could say, no, I don't agree to be traded. So I'll be back next year to coach. And the Crafts may be like, "Uh uh-oh, well, we don't want you back. So they're forced to fire him. Now, that's going to obviously cause some issues. But from Belichick's side, you know, you got to look at it. Let's say he decides to go, he wants to go to the Commanders or the Chargers. You know, after last night, my God, that doesn't seem like a stretch, does it? Uh, Then why would you want to go into that situation having lost your first round draft pick? Because that may be what it takes, or let's say a second and a third round draft pick. I mean, Belichick may be like, I don't want to lose that compensation going into a new situation where I'm going to be the general manager. So he could force the Patriots into a situation, an awkward situation, where they are forced to fire him. Because a lot of people know he's making over $20 million. All right? Now, I don't think that's what his official salary is listed at. You know, I've heard as much as $30 million, but I don't know that for sure. I mean, I think a lot of people understand. And again, I think Bill the Coach... I think he's still a pretty damn good coach, especially on the defensive side. I think he's a guru. But it's the personnel decisions and the decisions related to offense that is the problem here. 
All right, and I think that's what's going to... I think the Crafts are unhappy about what's happened around Mac Jones. I think they're unhappy that the team wasn't built around a brand new quarterback they just drafted. And uh, so that's what ultimately is going to run him out the door. Again, they reserve the right if they went out to make what I think will be a mistake if they decide to bring him back. So this is what Florio's got to say. If, as it appears... Patriots owner Robert Kraft and Patriots coach Bill Belichick are careening towards a divorce after 24 years together. What will it look like? Question mark. Many believe that Kraft is hoping to land the plane in a way that allows him to secure compensation from whoever employs Belichick next, while also allowing the two sides to separate in an elegant way. It's an admirable goal, but there's only one issue with that. Why would Belichick go along with it? Question mark. Yikes. This could get ugly, actually. He has no reason to. He gains nothing. He's under contract for another year at a number undoubtedly north of 20 mil. If he sticks around and coaches the team, he'll earn the money, and after the 2024 season, he becomes a free agent. And obviously, wherever he decided to go, most likely all their draft picks would still be intact. If he digs his heels in like Costanza at play now, Belichick either gets all the money, followed by a one-way ticket to free agency, or he gets a ticket to free agency now if he's fired. In contrast, if he goes along with the plan that positions the Patriots for compensation, Belichick gains nothing. He actually loses something under that scenario. Whatever his team gives up by way of compensation to his old team will make it harder for his new team. I've thought about that several times. Now, that hasn't mattered for Sean Payton and the Broncos uh, because he has obviously turned that team around. He has obviously turned Russell Wilson around. It's interesting. I gotta, I, I gotta say something too. I think this is going to be part, partially a business decision for whatever franchise gets him. In other words, you're going to get a publicity bump that's massive out of this. If you're the L.A. Chargers, if you're the Chicago Bears, if you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which has been rumored, but they're in the playoff chase right now, and maybe he wants to go to a borderline playoff team. If you're the commanders, I mean, that's going to bring a hell of a lot of fanfare to the city. Bill Belichick, the greatest NFL coach of all time, at least by many, many people's views anyway. It's going to be big business all of a sudden, at least for a couple of years. Given the reporting from Monday that Kraft decided to make a change after the Patriots lost to the Colts in Germany, Belichick has even more reason to not play along. Someone blabbed intentionally or accidentally while Belichick still had work to do. It won't do anything to get Belichick to do something he's not required to do. Yeah, he did a lot of deflection. We're on to Kansas City, basically, is is the way he answered that, and he got grilled over it by multiple reporters And I will say this, and I feel with 110% confidence, somebody in the know absolutely told Tommy Kernan they had decided to move on from Belichick. I don't think he made that up. I don't believe that for a second. Somebody that's involved in the decision-making or close to the crafts got in Kernan's ear, and I think there was a reason why it didn't get dropped till just the last few days. And there was a wait. I think they said, look, don't let this get out for a few weeks. He's not required to, and that also, and you may be asking, well, what's the, the, the other part of that? Whoever's talking to Kernan wants to know that they can trust Kernan. So if he sets on it like he agreed to do, then they can trust him and they'll continue to give him information. He's not required to go along with a mutual parting that reserves for the Patriots the right to get something from his team. So that's that's interesting. Florio is coming out and saying he's not wrong. 
Belichick could just squat on the whole situation. And CBS Sports has come out now and released a, a list of potential destinations. The Commanders is they're four and nine. Everybody thinks that Ron Rivera will be gone the Sunday evening after the regular season ends, or Black Monday, one of the two. And that Belichick, who's got some ties around that area, yada yada yada, that the command and I do think the Commanders are the the number one spot uh, that that everybody's going to be looking at. I Sam Howell is exactly the kind of guy I think Belichick would love. A final stint with the Commanders could be also looked at as a homecoming for Belichick, who grew up in Annapolis, Maryland, which is 30 minutes away from FedEx Field. They bring up the Dallas Cowboys. I don't, I don't know that I see that. A lot of people have brought that up. I, I don't know. Jerry Jones and Belichick... Butting heads, certainly Belichick's not going to, I wouldn't think, give up personnel control. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, because he's got a good relationship with the GM, Jason Light, who was with the Patriots, that makes a lot of sense. The Buccaneers makes a lot of sense outside of the fact that's where Tom went. So if Belichick shows up with the Buccaneers, the spotlight is brighter because people are going to be like, You better win a Super Bowl if you go to the same place where Tom went. I tend to believe, although it makes a lot of sense, I tend to believe that's not going to happen. And then there's the Chargers. A lot of people have brought up the Chargers. I think there's a chance that the Chargers are a thing uh, there as well if he's willing to, you know, relocate or, or go out there just during the season. Um, you know, they absolutely got the roster. Now he might come in as the general manager and trade out half the roster, which is, would be a massive fear if I was one of these teams and I brought him in, what are you going to do from a personnel standpoint? My one requirement. And I said, if the Patriots wanted to keep bill fine, you know, that's, that's fine. But you're not general manager anymore. Not a chance in hell are you going to have control over that roster. You know, especially the offensive side of the ball. And that any kind of, you know, putting your fingers into the offensive side of the ball, no. No. It it would be Bill O'Brien's baby, and that would be it. And Bill O'Brien and the GM would work hand-in-hand to put weapons around whatever quarterback you may draft or decide to keep going with. Whether that's Zappy, Matt Jones, Kirk Cousins, whatever it looks like. Jimmy Garoppolo has started percolating again there, believe it or not. Yikes. Uh, so, it kind of makes sense, though. It kind of does. Uh, weirdly and oddly enough. I don't know. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. It could get ugly in New England between Robert Kraft and Bill Belichick. I hope it doesn't. I mean, I do. I hope it doesn't. He's a, a all-time great coach, and I think Robert Kraft is an all-time great owner. And I think there's a lot of class from both sides of the coin there outside of the handling of Tom Brady. Tom Brady should have never, ever been allowed to leave New England, ever. Uh, Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.